Hey guys, the Counterposter Shop here, and today we are going to show you the third part of the build series of the Prometheus MSLA. We are be looking at the arm assembly that contain the build plate for the printer. We finally got our machine aluminum part kit uh, that we have three main components. The first is obviously the build plate, uh, then uh, the base for the arm. And finally, uh, the link for the linear rails. But just keep in mind uh, that these parts have no finish on them because they are prototypes. To complete them, we have a, some parts that are 3D printed, like the arm body, the top piece of the build plate, and a spacer for the rails. By the way, the aluminum kit was kindly made by my friend at DLL PDF. He is an awesome machinist and make and sell awesome stuff for 3D printers. Everything is premium made. And look at that. He even do powder coated components. He will be the first to offer those kits for your Prometheus build. So stay tuned when they come out. The first step is setting the threaded insert into the part by heating it, thus melting it into place. Take your time so the insert is perfectly centered and flush with the part. The fit is quite snug and we don't want to have problems with them later. We suggest you get good quality inserts because they are stronger when installed in the parts. A bit of Loctite in the threaded holes are not a bad idea. We just don't know how it will react with the resin. So maybe you can just put a small gasket in the gap to prevent resin going between the parts. Don't forget to not over tight the screws. This is aluminum and you just need to screw them just tight enough. No need to apply a lot of force to them. On this part, we installed a riv nut for the locking thumb screw. When you purchase a kit, you will not have to do that. It will come pre-installed or the part will already be threaded. Now, it's time to install the 3D printed arm body. Some of you ask what is the best material to print the parts. The answer is, is something stiff. I mostly print my stuff in PLA because it gives me strong and stiff parts. They don't receive shock and they are not in hot environment. I don't recommend ABS or similar plastic 
because uh, they can react with chemical in the resin. I have my Prometheus printed in PLA for more than two years now and they hold up very nicely. Other plastic like PTG can be used too and something reinforced with carbon fiber should be great too. In the first version of the Prometheus, we glued these parts together with strong epoxy to fuse the three parts together. If you are scared, you can do it, but with our early testing, this technique is strong enough. For the lead screw, we are using Acme Rod. I know that this is not the best, but with the nice result we had in the past with this setup, we chose to put it in the final design. For those who really want a ball screw, we will put a variant of the design for it. We choose Acme Rod with 2mm lead so it can give us more force and more definition. The rigidity of the system came from the frame and the rails, so the rod is just there for the movement. That's all for now. We are almost ready to bring the project online. We are setting up the GitHub page and talking with people to be able to offer kits at the release. Thank you for your patience and for being part of this journey. Come chat with us on our Discord. All the links are in the video description.